Wonderland video. So we're getting a new government's governance proposal, and this is one of my favorite ones yet. It's sort of the next step in revolutionizing the Splinterland earnings process. And personally, I think that this is one that all real players should like, and I personally love. And we're gonna walk through it in this video. I'm gonna give my opinions. I'm gonna show a couple examples. Um, and yeah, I, I think this is just the next step in what we've seen is a long process to overhaul and revolutionize the Splinterland reward system. So, what are we talking about? Basically, a proposal is being put forth to adjust the amount of reward shares awarded in ranked battles based on the level of cards used by the winning player in the battle. The goal of this change is to encourage players to own and or rent higher level cards and encourage combining cards by reducing the amount of reward shares earned by cards used in battles that are below the intended levels for each league. Now, just judging off this, right, I think a lot of lower level players could be upset, right? Like, oh my goodness, if I don't have fully leveled up cards, I'm not gonna be able to get my full rewards. That's not true. They break it out by league. So here is the baseline you need to earn your full rewards. In bronze, you just need to own the cards, right? You just can't have starter level cards. In silver, they don't even, you don't even have, have to have max, right? They sort of do baseline. So level three common, level two rare, level two epic, level one legendary. Gold you can see, diamond you can see, and in champion, you need max. So what's interesting here, right? For silver, you need to just be playing with a max bronze deck, right? That's it. That's all you need to be playing with is a max bronze deck. So this protects the players that have a bronze account that play up into silver. This protects the players that have a silver account that play up into gold. This protects the players with gold accounts that play up into diamond, right? So you're protected as long as you're playing one league above your cards levels. You know, and that breaks out a little bit here in champion where you need all max. So what are the calculations? Ah, they do a couple things before I get into that. So any level of card is still able to be played in all leagues. Um, so, you know, you can still play a level one card. You can still play a max level card. It doesn't matter. Cards played above the minimum will not increase the rewards and they can't make up for reductions. And you'll see what reductions look like in a second. And then the level of the card is not based on summoner level. So if you're playing a level one obsidian and a level five goblin psychic, you're still going to get credit for the level five goblin psychic. Um, even though in practice, the Goblin Psychic will be used at level three, which is the max that Obsidian can play. So the card's individual level matters separately than the card that the, the level that the summoner can play it at. And then starter cards start at zero. So here's an example. In silver, right? So you can play level three commons, but you get a level five common being played, a level one common. You can play level three rares. You get a level no, sorry, level two rares, you get a level two, level one rare being played, sorry, and then you can play level one legendary. So if you go here, your level five common, it can only play up to level three, so you only get credit for three, right? You don't get over credit. This level one common, now you only get one third for that. You get a half for the rare, and you get a full for the legendary. And so they're taking that average, they're dividing by the total amount of monsters played, and that's the percent that you would get. Example two here, you can see that, right, there's five cards being played, the starter counts as zero, so it's divided by five, and you're getting the average. So, everyone, uh, most people on the surface, right, it looks like would get a little bit hurt by this, but, one thing you have to take into context and remember is that the previous thing we voted on was to separate the pools by leagues, right? So each league has its own pool now. So you're, you just need to be less affected by the other people in your pool in order to actually benefit from this. So I think a lot of the real players that are leveling up their cards are going to benefit from this greatly. 
and the car and the accounts that are going to not benefit from this are the cards that have all level one cards or the accounts that have all level one cards and can play up into gold and can play up into diamond because now they're going to significantly they're going to get they're going to get significantly reduced rewards and those rewards then get distributed to the other people who have leveled up cards or more leveled up cards than these bot accounts do. So let me just show you an example using my own accounts, right? So here's my Hawks 21. I don't have all, I did make it in a champion. I don't have all fully leveled up cards. So I'm actually going to get hurt by this a little bit when I do make it in a champion. But here's an example of an account I have that is going to be greatly hurt by uh, this change. So as you can see, my bot account is in gold right now. My bot account has all level two, level two summoners, level two cards. And I can win some matches at gold and I am taking from the gold SPS pool using cards that aren't leveled up. Now, I only have one about bot account. Think about the, you know, thousands and tens of thousands of accounts from bot farms that don't have leveled up cards that play up into the higher leagues. This is going to shift the rewards away from those accounts into the players' accounts that have leveled up cards. And then, you know, as an ecosystem, right, this is still going to encourage people. It's the same with renting, right? So now leveled up cards are gonna rent for more than they were previously. So there was a disconnect where level one cards often had better returns renting than leveled up cards. They didn't want that anymore. And also this is just gonna encourage people to buy and level up their decks, right? There are a lot of people who are happy to just sit on the sidelines, not because they don't have more money to put into the game or they don't want to put the money in the game, just because you know they can make a bunch of silver accounts and oftentimes play into even diamond and earn diamond level rewards with those silver accounts. Now, you know, that person either needs to combine all of their cards into one account or start leveling up their cards. So overall, I think this is a fantastic addition to the rule changes they're making, um, specifically when you take it into context of each league having its own separate reward pool, right? So I think most people unless you have fully leveled up decks are going to in a vacuum be negatively affected by this but since we've shifted to the each league having its own pool system for rewards i think the actual players who are working to level up their cards are going to benefit from this because the bots that don't level up their cards are going to be greatly hurt which means there's going to be more SPS in those pools to be given to the people with leveled up cards. So yeah, this is an, I'm 100% going to be voting for this. I hope other people vote for this too. I think this change makes so much sense for the reward system. Um, yeah, I, I think, I personally think this is a no brainer. Um, maybe I'm missing something. So if you agree with me, I would love to hear, you know, why you agree with me. And if you don't, please let me know, you know, am I missing something? It, you know, what's what's not being connected here for me? Um, you know, I love hearing your feedback whenever we talk about these proposals. Uh, right now, the it's in discussion in the Discord, so you can go in and talk in the thread on this. And I believe after a week of discussion in the Discord, it'll be put up for a vote. So stay tuned for that. All right, hope you're enjoying the game. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe. Uh, I am Hawks21, and I will see you around the game the outro but a couple hours after I finished recording the video I got into some conversations with this on Twitter and I feel like people just need a visual example for why I think this is a fantastic proposal specifically for silver and gold players where you're seeing some of these level one bot accounts be able to play up and really siphon off the earnings for those leaks. The other thing to remember is the previous proposal that I think a lot of lower level players were a little bit upset at was the splitting up of the SPS pools by league. This proposal builds off of that to help.
the lower league players, right? A lot of the complaints were, you know, if bronze, silver, and even gold have its own pool, we're going to have to bear all the brunt of the bot farms, right? Because that's where the bot farms sit, is in those three leagues. Well, now, specifically, because it's set up this way, all of those bot farms are going to get significantly nerfed and all of those earnings are going to flow back through to the real players who are, you know, accumulating cards, leveling up their decks and trying to push forward slowly but surely. You're now going to benefit from this proposal and I'm going to walk through how. A couple things though, this is obviously a really simplified version of the math that goes on and I'll point out as we go you know, where I'm making assumptions and stuff like that. Um, but it would just be too complicated to do the actual pool math, right? I'm just showing a quick example. Just a nice visualization for you guys to see how I think this works. So we're gonna use the Silver League. And remember, these are the silver levels needed to get 100%. These aren't max silver, right? These are max bronze. That's another thing to remember. In order to get 100% of the rewards, in silver, you don't need a full silver deck. You need a full bronze deck, right? In order to get 100% of the rewards in gold, you don't need a full gold deck. You just need a full silver deck. So again, very important to remember. So here's what the scenario I set up. I made six accounts, right? These first three are going to be all level one bot accounts, okay? These last two are going to be accounts that have at least a full bronze deck playing in silver. They might have a full silver deck as well, um, but you don't get extra bonus points for having extra leveled up cards. Um, so for the purposes of this, we're just gonna assume these are two accounts that are fully maxed out to these um, minimum specifications, right? And then this is gonna be our account. Okay, I think this is the type of account that the players have seen the, that we've seen the most complaints from surrounding this. Um, and it's the account that's somewhere in between, right? It's not a bot account, but it's slowly building up to be this max level account. And they, I think the perception is you're gonna lose earnings, but in reality, because of the league pool setup, the way it is, I think you're gonna stand to benefit from this. And that's the scenario I want to show you and create. So we're the level four account, or we're the account number four right here. Last thing I would mention before we go is this ratio of three bot accounts to two full maxed out level accounts playing in silver, I think is a con extremely conservative relationship. It's definitely not three to two. I think there are far more bot accounts than there are max level accounts. Just from hearing people talk about it and from what I understand goes on in silver. I bet this is closer to 10 to one, maybe even higher. Um, so I think these numbers are even gonna be more skewed than what I'm showing, but I just wanted to create the most conservative, conservative example possible to make my point. Okay, so. This is one of the simplifying assumptions because the math would be really, really difficult and I just want to show something quickly. Let's just assume that these six accounts win a match and as part of the silver SPS pool, there's 100 SPS designated to these six wins, okay? And we're just gonna walk through what that math looks like uh, in the old system and what that math is gonna look like in the new system. So first, here's the calculation of the rewards cut, right? So I just did the math they gave us in the document that I showed in the first part of the video. Um, you know, it's just taking the level of the card and dividing it by what's needed and then taking the average, so divided by seven in this case. And that's what we're left with. So under the new system, these three bot accounts would get 52% of what they previously would have gotten. This account, our account is gonna get 81. And that's where I think people are confused saying, well, my rewards get reduced. No, 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 let's walk through the example. And these two accounts are obviously gonna get 100%. So 
So under the current system, right, all that happens is V1 here, the 100 gets divided by six. They all get the same amount. And the other simplification I'm making is like, obviously some of this changes if we're talking, you know, boosts from guild, boosts from gold foil, um, you know, there's no real way for me to model that in. Um, so we're just gonna assume that there's no gold foils, none of these are in a guild. Again, just trying to make a very, very simple example. So these six accounts would earn the same, right? They would all share these rewards equally, which as you can see, the more bot accounts that are involved in this equation, the smaller the number is. So right here, 50% of the rewards in this case are going to these bot accounts and these player accounts are left with the other 50%. And again, I think this number of bot accounts is way higher. The ratio is way higher than three to two. So I think the situation is even more dire uh, and a much higher percentage of rewards are going to these types of accounts um, than I'm even showing. So under the new system, what is this gonna look like? Well, for round one, basically what's going to happen is you're going to see the current SPS that they get, right? Right here, multiply what their new sort of reducted rate would be. So 8.73 SPS, drag that across. Obviously all the bot accounts are in the same situation are gonna get the same. And then here, the two highest level accounts are going to get the same that they normally would have gotten. These are cut in about half and you look, say, well, look, Hawks, I'm getting less SPS. Well, we're not done because if we sum up across, you will notice that this doesn't equal 100, right? There is still about 27 SPS that needs to be redistributed through the system. Okay, because again, there's a hundred set aside. This 100 doesn't change, right? This 100 is still being distributed out. So we still have 27 to put out. So let's go to round two. So what we're gonna do here is this 27 that needs to get put out, divided by six, right? Cause it's gonna be split across the six accounts. And then we're going to multiply by the individual reductors right so the one thing that needs to be done is we need to lock in this so i can drag it across so in this round the bot accounts are going to get an extra 2.3 sps 2.3 sps middle accounts going to get 3.64 4.5 4.5 but we're not done so again, this was the sum of row 15 going across. We're just gonna drag that down, 19. So again, we didn't give away all 26, right? So this is the difference. I'm just gonna drag this down. We still have, oh, can't drag it down, sorry. We're gonna do this. That's what we had left to give away, what we actually gave away. Oh, look at that, right? We still have seven more to give away. So we're just going to copy this formula, copy, paste it in, and then we need to change the 15, as you can see right here, to this 16 for the 7. In this round, the bots get 0.64. Here we go, go all the way across. Same thing, I'm going to bring the sum down. I don't know why that button's not working. Look, we still have more we have to go through, right? So this minus this, okay? We'll do one more round, uh, just because then, then we could do this forever. And this is what I mean by the form. The real formula gets a little complicated. Um, so we're just gonna do a more simplified version. We have to change this to 17. Go all the way across bring down the sum once again. My command key is getting a little sticky. Um, and then 
bring this down. And I think there's like point, yeah. So there's 0.5 residual and we're not gonna keep going through because we would keep going and it would get infinitely small numbers. But, so let's take a look at what it would look with our new SPS that would get distributed. Under this new model. So we go across and then let's look at some differences. So we'll take the new minus what you would have got in the current system right here, drag that across and look at that. So the bot accounts now are each going to get in this scenario. Again, this is a specific scenario. They're going to get about five, you know, 4.8 less SPS than they are currently getting, right? The higher accounts are gonna get six more, about six more, again, in this scenario. I know these numbers are high. I just used 106 accounts for easy math. Um, so six more. But then let's look at our account, right? The account that's halfway through. We also benefit from these accounts down at the lower levels that are all level ones, their earnings getting redistributed to accounts that have some leveled up cards or fully leveled up cards for that league, we benefit from that, right? As long as there are more accounts like this, right? Than accounts like this, which there are an insane amount more, as long as you are more leveled up than the accounts that are all level ones, you are going to benefit from this. It's not going to be as much as everyone who has fully maxed out decks, but you're going to end up with more SPS because the earnings from these accounts are getting very drastically reduced. Okay. I just wanted to show this visualization. Um, also, I should add, this is my understanding of how this dynamic would work. It's my very simplified uh, understanding of how this dynamic would work. I know in practice, again, it's going to be far more complicated. Um, if I have something wrong here, please let me know. Please inform me and I can make an update. I don't want to be misleading people, of course. But baseline, I just think people in this, this is a proposal made for those people that are grinding through silver and gold. For me personally, sitting at the highest level, this doesn't help me, right? We don't see level one accounts or significantly reduced accounts playing in diamond and champion. Every once in a while, I run into a full max out gold deck playing in diamond, but you know, even they would end up with hundred percent of the rewards, right? Because they have a full max out gold deck. Personally, this is actually going to hurt me because when I play in champion at the end of the season, I don't have a fully maxed out deck. So I'm going to get some reward reductions. I'm going to be on the less maxed out side of champion than most people. So during the times when I'm playing in champion, I, my rewards are going to be reduced. And even in diamond, like for the, the fiends, for example, right? I have to play leveled up fiends now or I'm going to get a reduction. So I either have to go buy some fiends um, which I probably should do anyways to get the ability bonus at the highest level, or I'm my, my I'm gonna get reducted. I also have some cards that I specifically haven't leveled up that are expensive, like Sandworm, and I kept Sandworm at two speed with six attack, so I could play them in reverse speed rule sets because I don't want to allocate the capital to fully level them up. Well, I'm not gonna be able to do that anymore, or I can. I'm just gonna experience reduced earnings. So me personally. This hurts me, but this dynamic does two things that I like. It's going to redistribute earnings from bots to player accounts that are leveling up their cards, right? Or it's going to redistribute earnings to bots that are leveling up their cards, right? Which I'm also fine with. I don't care if you are a human player or a bot, if you are investing in the game and leveling up your cards and trying to compete at higher and higher levels, that has the same effect on the overall economy. 
So as a first thing, encouraging people to level up cards, I think is a good thing and mandatory for this economy to function well. And the second reason why I support this is because some of the changes that have been made to the economy thus far, I think one are necessary, but two, some of them have certainly been skewed to the people at the highest levels. This is a change that is very specifically skewed to silver and gold players. And I, I want to support this 100%. Even though personally, I'm probably going to lose out a little bit. I think the people that are playing every day in silver and gold are going to benefit the most from this. So I think this is a no brainer to support across the board. I think, you know, long term, I think this helps me because more people that are buying cards to level up, whether that be in silver or gold, reduces the supply of cards. And, you know, as a card owner, that's good for me. But from a day to day earnings perspective, I think this is going to ultimately hurt me a little bit. I still think it's fantastic for the game. And I think it's, to me, one of the more obvious proposals that's been up that needs to be passed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do another outro. I came back. I just, I wanted to explain this more thoroughly. I feel strongly about this. I think this would be very beneficial for the game. Um, but leave your comments below. Am I wrong? What am I not thinking of? Uh, I wanna hear them all. So again, Hawks21, cover Splinterlands. Like and subscribe. Do it, do it, do it. I'll talk to you guys soon.